Chromebooks are incredible computing devices for many reasons. They boot up in seconds, you don't have to spend all day doing updates, and they're just simple to use. They truly take advantage of cloud computing and that's why they're so fast. But if you're not careful, your Chromebook might start to feel a little bit bogged down occasionally. So I wanna go through five quick tips to optimize your Chromebook and keep it running smooth. But before we get into those quick tips, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. We recommend Nord and we use NordVPN because they are awesome at what they do. They protect your browsing, whether you're at home or on the go. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. Okay, first things first, before we get into those tips, a lot of these have been covered in our Chromebook Tip Tuesday segment that we do here on YouTube. So if you aren't familiar with those, um, we'll make sure to link all those videos down in the description. Okay, so our first tip is to clean up your extensions. Extensions are essentially little pieces of software that can run in the Chrome browser to help you be more productive. A couple that I use daily are Grammarly, Bitly, and Pocket. And these are great pieces of little software, but if you're not careful, some of them might become outdated and when they aren't being supported anymore, they might start to cause issues from slow load speeds to maybe even screen glitches or all kinds of issues. You can view all of the extensions that you have installed by going into your settings and then clicking on extensions over on the left side. And this will show you all of the extensions that you have installed in your Chrome browser. So first of all, you need to remove any of the extensions that you aren't using. And then if you're still having issues, go through and turn on and off each of the extensions to figure out which one might be the culprit of your issues. The next step is to clean up your hard drive. Chromebooks are designed to run in the cloud. So the hard drives that are on most Chromebooks aren't as large as some that you might have on a Windows device or a Mac. And that's because most of your files are up in Google Drive, or they should be. So you really should be taking full advantage of Google Drive. So anytime that you're importing files or importing photos or something, make sure to add those into the Google Drive and don't let them sit in your downloads folder or on your device. Utilizing Google Drive and moving all of those files into the cloud will make sure that the limited hard drive space that you do have isn't clogged up and will keep your Chromebook running fast. Okay, so our next tip is to set up your downloads folder to automatically upload to Google Drive. So this is a tip that we've covered in our Chromebook Tip Tuesday segment and it's one that not a lot of people are aware of. But by doing so, essentially anything that you download is going to be automatically uploaded to Google Drive and it's not going to take up any space on your Chromebook. And then also if you're logging into another device or you need to power wash your device, you don't have to worry about any of those files that might be stuck in your downloads. They're going to be automatically uploaded to Google Drive. This is one of those really useful hacks that only takes a couple seconds to set up and we recommend that everyone does this. The first thing you'll need to do is actually go into Google Drive and create a folder called Downloads. And then you'll go into your settings and set that folder as your downloads folder for Chrome OS. And then you're ready to go. Any time that you download something, it's gonna be automatically uploaded to that folder and not having those local files sitting on your device is gonna keep your Chromebook running smooth. The next step is to review and uninstall any apps that you aren't using. If you're like me, especially on my phone, I will sometimes install an app for this or that and I will forget about it and never go and uninstall it. And that's not a huge deal on Chrome OS because those apps actually aren't taking up any of your local resources when they're not running, but they are still on your device. So going through there and cleaning up those apps and uninstalling any of them that you're not using is going to help to optimize your Chromebook and make it run faster. And the new app manager makes this super easy. You can go into the app manager and see all of those apps that you have installed on your Chromebook and easily uninstall them if you need to. And the new app manager is really easy to get to. Just go into your settings and then click on apps over there on the left menu. And then you can go through and click on each app individually and uninstall it if you need to. And the last tip is to power wash your Chromebook. If all else fails, if you're having issues with your Chromebook and it's running slow, just go through a power wash and it's gonna reset that device back to its factory settings. And this can be done in your settings menu or it can be done from the lock screen. And we have a Chromebook Tip Tuesday on that process. This is something that we do around the office a lot as we're testing different devices or sharing them around. We will just 
power wash them and reset them back to factory settings and then hand them off to the next person who can log in and set up that device. And if you've made sure to set up all of your files in Google Drive, and set up your downloads folder to upload to Google Drive, you can basically just do a power wash and not have to worry about losing any of your local files. And so if you're having issues or if maybe you just want to get a fresh install of Chrome OS, just go in there and do a power wash and it should make your Chromebook feel basically brand new, fresh out of the box. So that's it, there's five quick tips to help you optimize your Chromebook. I know that Chromebooks don't need a whole lot of optimizing because they run in the cloud and they're already really fast. But I hope that these five tips can help you if you're maybe having issues or if you just wanna speed up your Chromebook. But that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give us a like down below. And if you are subscribed, make sure to click that little notification bell so you'll be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you guys.